Hello guys, welcome to yet another tutorial. What we'll be talking about today is Arduino Digital Stopwatch. Without wasting much time, let's just see the component we'll be needing for this tutorial. So the first one here is Arduino Uno. Second one is 16 by 2 LCD display. Third one is resistor. 1K to be precise. You can use the variable resistor in order to vary the visibility of the LCD display. Other one here is a push button. We'll be needing two of them. Here is jumper wires. We'll be needing jumper wires for the connection on the breadboard. The last one here is the breadboard. So without wasting much time, let's see the circuit connection itself. Now the first thing you have to do is to connect the LCD display to ground of the Arduino. Now one thing you have to take note of here is for the pin 1, pin 5, pin 7, 8, 9, 10, then pin 16, they are all connected to ground. Now look at this. For the VCC, VCC is connected to pin 2 and pin 15, which is the power supply. Then for pin pin 4, pin 4 is connected to number 3 on the Arduino board. Pin 7, 6 rather, pin 6 is connected to pin 5 of the Arduino board. Why pin? Why pin 11 is connected to the Arduino board pin 5? Why pin 6 is connected to pin 12 of the Arduino board? Pin 7 is connected to pin 13. Here, pin 14 is connected to pin 8 on the Arduino board. Here, pin 13 connected to pin 7. That is for this session. Now, for pin 9 and 10 are connected to push button start and reset respectively. So pin 9 is connected to the first push button, while the other pin of the push button is connected to ground. Pin 10 is connected to the second push button, which is the reset push button, also connected to ground from the other terminal of the push button. So basically, this is the connection which needs to be done in order to achieve this stopwatch. So right now, let's dive into uploading the code into Arduino board and see how it functions. So guys, here is the code for the stopwatch. As you can see here, the library of the liquid crystal has been included. Here the liquid crystal pins has been stated which are pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, pin 6, pin 7 and 8. Those are the terminals in which the Arduino is connected to the LCD display. And the input has all been declared. So let's just upload the code. If you this code, you'll see in the description below. Let's upload it and see how it works. So guys, the code has been uploaded and here you are, our stopwatch is ready. As you can see, these two knobs here, this is the set and this is the reset. So if I decide to push the set, you 
system starts working as you can see stopwatch has started counting that is the seconds moving which is going to migrate to the minute and then to the hour depending on how long you want to use it of which this is just a regular stopwatch which we have on our phone systems and arrays so basically this pin here is the reset button like on our schematics so once i press as you can see system has been reset back to zero zero now i press the reset button system is back on loop and it's counting so thank you for watching and if you like this video please like and share subscribe and also ring the bell icon if you've not done that for more videos thank you for watching